Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 49. We're going to be looking at Quaternion Code Part 1. Quaternion Code Part 1. So as you can recall, we have done quite a bit of Quaternion stuff and um, mathematically in the past, and now we're going to start covering the code in this. Today we're going to be looking at notation, access angle pairs, negation, and the identity. Uh, it'll be a pretty quick episode because there's not too much of those. Um, as before, we're just going to be using standard uh, JavaScript objects to represent all this kind of stuff um, with a few uh, useful, uh, simple things like copy and quality. We're not going to go ahead and show those right now because there's no real reason to. We're just going to jump right into things that relate to quaternions. So as you can see here, we have uh, a bunch of code that's being run and the expected output. So let's go ahead and see what it is. Uh, first, we're just going to be creating with and then we're going to have the two different identities. So if you recall, uh, we from the, uh, I believe, the second episode, Quaternions, this is episode 28, uh, we have two different types of identities, the positive and the negative for uh, with the W. So uh, I'm not going to go back and do the math of what they are meaning, but you can see that. So we have two different uh, methods here, the P and the N for the positive and negative, and we're going to go ahead and just also set the identity without it to also be a reference to the positive version of that. Um, pretty simple. Uh, negation uh, is next, I believe. So if you have this quaternion, it's made with these numbers here, and it puts the expected output there. Um, again, this is at the end of this episode. And it's just basically having the negation of each of them, uh, of each element within the quaternion. So pretty simple. Uh, the next one, we're going to go ahead and have all the rotations. And um, those are really the rest of the things that we have for this episode, uh, which is basically this axis angle pair. And uh, each of these works uh, uh, per this slide right here where we have the quaternion, which is represented by the cosine of theta over 2 and times the sine of theta over 2 over uh, multiplied by n, where n is some vector of x, y, z values. So with that, we're going to have three different rotations about, about the x, about the y, and about the z, uh, all of which basically look the same. We could probably set up a simple... Uh, well, probably could call a rotate about from each of these, but we didn't do that right now because it's lazy. And this is basically the taking a vector in and setting the rotation about and then returning the rest of those values uh, as each. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at what those values look like, we can see here of rotate about x, y, and z, we would have these three values here. Again, uh, doing the same kind of thing, but rotate about so giving it a vector with the x, y, and the z value. Uh, we'll have the exact same output. And then finally, he handles some arbitrary vector case as well, which is this one down here. So it's nice and short, sh short episode today. Uh, we'll keep on digging into a lot more quaternion code. And um, if you like what you saw, uh, go ahead and subscribe, give a like, share this on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for our newsletter. Thanks. Have a great one.